All right, everybody, The Shawshank Redemption. You guys have been screaming at me for a while. You wanted me to check this out. All right, we're checking it out. This film came out in 1994. I'm friggin' stoked. Now, as always, the rock cut will be available on Patreon page for people who want to watch along, sync it up, and watch with a timestamp, but you need your own copy to sync up the two conversions. And other than that, I want to let you know on the Patreon page now, we're going to start doing movie polls for the first time where I'll take suggestions from patrons and we'll have a poll over there for a movie that we'll check out over here on the YouTubes. All right, they'll all be coming to YouTube, but if you want more say, then you can go check that out. I don't know anything about this movie. All I know is it's considered one of the best movies of all time. The Shawshank Redemption. This person looks like they're going through some issues. Sitting in a car in the dark. What's in the rag, man? Oh my god. Okay. Oh, great. That's a great combination. Firearms and whiskey. My nerves today. What's he planning on doing? Confrontation you had with your wife the night that she was murdered. Oh. She said she was glad I knew. She wanted a divorce in Reno. I'll see you in hell before I see you in Reno. Those were the words you used, Mr. Dufresne, according to the testimony of your neighbors. She packed a bag to go and stay with Mr. Quinn. She packed a bag to go to who she's having an affair with? you had recently discovered was your wife's lover. Waited. Yeah, waited with, with what a intention. I'm not sure. I was confused uh, and drunk. Confused and drunk. Highly emotional. When they arrived, you went up to the house and murdered them. And I drove home to sleep it off. Along the way, I stopped and I threw my gun into the Royal the River. The cleaning woman shows up the following morning and finds your wife in bed with her lover riddled with 38 caliber bullets. Ooh, okay. He had a 38 caliber as well? It's a bit fishy. The police dragged that river for three days and nary a gun was found. Ooh, they got him on the ropes. I am innocent of this crime, sir. I find it decidedly inconvenient that the gun was never found. Is he innocent? Is he not? I don't know. I mean, he might not even remember. It depends how wasted he is here. He already said he didn't remember saying certain things, so maybe he don't remember murdering them? Footprints, tire tracks, we have bullets Ooh. strewn on the ground which bear his fingerprints. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty much set up to be guilty. A revolver holds six bullets, not eight. This was revenge of a much Ooh. more brutal this. Four bullets per victim. True. They'd have to reload. You strike me as a particularly icy and remorseless man, Mr. Dufresne. It's kind of, he's coming across that way. I hereby order you to serve two life sentences back to back. Woo. One for each of your victims. Well, if he murdered him, he deserves it. But the question is, did he murder him? I guess that's what we're going to figure out throughout the course of this movie? Hey, here we go. We see by your file you've served 20 years of a life sentence. You feel you've been rehabilitated? Absolutely, sir. I can honestly say that hmm. I'm a changed man. No longer a danger to society. That's God's honest truth. Rejected? My God, he seems sincere enough. He served 20 years, but I don't know what crime he did, though. Who knows? I don't know his story either. Oh, a depressing walk. To have your chance for freedom and then have to walk back here. I'm up for rejection next week. I'm up for rejection. Yeah, I got rejected last week. Oh, he's a con. I'm the guy who can get it for you. Cigarettes, a bag of reefer. So when Andrew Dufresne came in and asked me to smuggle Rita Hayworth into the prison for him, I told him, no problem. Smuggle a person into it? How are you going to do that? <laughs> okay. I got to see this. That is a cool looking prison, though, from the outside. Come on. It's like a big manor mansion castle thing. And he came to Shawshank Prison in early 1947 for murdering his wife and the fella she was banging. New blood, is it? Fresh meat for the prison. Ooh, look at old Tommy guns. Gotta love it. You speak English, but stay. You follow this office. I've seen such a sorry looking heap of maggot shit in all my life. <laughs> okay. That guy got an attitude. It's a hard prison by the sounds of things. Eight. Eight from the front. He'll be first. Oh, bullshit. I'll take that action. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Chubby fat ass there. The fifth one from the front. <laughs> They're gambling on who's going to get it first? What, like who's going to get shibbed and end up dead? I must admit I didn't think much of Andy the first time I laid eyes on him. Tall drink of water with a silver spoon up his ass. Ten cigarettes. That's a rich bet. Ten. All right, who's going to prove me wrong? Interesting. Hey, you got to do something to entertain yourself, right? Ooh. That was a good camera angle. Showing the actual walking into the prison. What kind of crimes did all these people commit? Are they all murderers or, or various crimes? Rule number one, 
No blasphemy. Prison. Ooh, that's the other strict. rules, you'll figure out as you go along. When do we eat? <laughs> you eat when we say you eat. You shit when we say you shit. Ooh. You piss when we say you piss. <laughs> <laughs> On your feet. Put your trust in the Lord. Your ass belongs to me. He's like a religious zealot, is he? Like... Welcome to Shawshank. He's literally forcing the religion on every prison guard who comes in. They're like, oh, you're going to worship. So they wash him down, then they throw powder on him. Move out of the cage, go to your left, pick up your clothes and Bible. Thanks, man. Old life blown away in the blink of an eye. Oh. Nothing left but all the time in the world. Most new fish come close to madness the first night. Somebody always breaks down crying. Who's it going to be? It's as good a thing to bet on as any, I guess. Lights out! I can't imagine being stuck in a prison like that. Just doing the same routine day in, day out, surrounded by a bunch of people. Like, some are friendly, but some, you know, probably the vast majority are dangerous people. Fish, fish, fish. What's that mean? The boys always go fishing with first-timers. <laughs> Love to make your acquaintance. Especially okay. that big white... Mushy buddy ears. I don't belong here. We have a winner. <laughs> we fresh fish. Fresh fish. Fresh fish, is that what they're saying? My goodness, they're razzing them up, getting them going. He's the first mother. one to break. I had your mom. She wasn't that great. Oh my goodness. I want my mom. I had your mom. What is your mouth punching you? I ain't supposed to be here. I'm not even going to count to one. You will shut the up or I'll sing you a lullaby. <laughs> Oh no, oh no, they're gonna lay the smack down on him or what? <laughs> they're really setting an example with him, aren't they? If I hear so much as a mouse fart in here the rest of the night, Jesus, you will all visit the infirmary. To get this weird blend of Christianity mixed with like just ruthless aggression and cursing and violence. It's like, what? Where are your morals or what? They thought he was gonna break and he didn't. He just sat there. They thought that he was like pretty boy, stick up his ass, lawyer, or I mean banker type. Expected him to be the first one to break, but he didn't. A lot of people say when you're in prison, just keep your mouth shut and your head down. Either that or you just gotta be the tough guy. And I don't think he's gonna take the tough guy role. Oh, now you gotta figure out where you're gonna sit to. Ooh. Aww. Ooh. Do you mind? That guy's that hard up for a bit of protein. How does he... How does he have a bird? Jake says thank you. Jake. Come on, set him down. I want them all lined up here. Just like a, a pretty little chorus line. How's that horse of mine doing anyway? Do you? What? Had it busted his head up pretty good. Old bastard laid there to this moment. What? They hit him so hard in the head that it busted his head open and he just laid there all night because there was no doctor and he bled to death and died. Oh my god. Just wondering if anyone knew his name. You care, new fish. Whoa. It matter what his name was, he's dead. Well, you're not going to get any sympathy or empathy from people in here about the looks of things. Hey. Anybody come at you yet? I could be a friend to you. Hey. Oh, oh. Now he's going to be insulted because he just walked away from him. Hard to get. Look, I like that. This guy looks psycho. Look at the look in his face. He's got, I don't know, something about him. Amelia Dufresne, wife killing banker. They know how to do it. I didn't, since you ask. <laughs> you gonna fit right in. <laughs> Everybody in here is innocent. Exactly. Hey, what you in here for? Didn't do it. Lawyer, me. I understand you're a man that knows how to get things. I'm known to locate certain things from time to time. Ah, okay. I wonder There's... if you might get me a rock hammer. What is it and why? What do you care? Well, if it was a toothbrush, I wouldn't ask questions. I'd just quote a price. But then a toothbrush is a non-lethal object, isn't it? Ooh. Okay. Rocks. Rocks. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe you'd like to sink your toe into somebody's skull. Ooh. <laughs> no, <sir. laughs> yeah, exactly. Sisters have taken quite a liking to you, especially Boggs. Yeah, what's going on I don't there? suppose it would help any if I explained to them I'm not homosexual. Hmm. Neither are they. They have to be human first. They don't qualify. <sighs> if I were you, I'd grow eyes in the back of my head. Well, if there's any trouble, I won't use the rock hammer. Then I'd guess you want to escape. Tunnel under the wall, maybe. Hmm. That's what I was thinking. You understand when you see the rock hammer. It's making it even ten bucks. Ten it is. They do catch you with it. You don't know me. What good is money to Red if he's in prison? 
But I guess he uses it for his contacts on the outside, so he pays them with a bit of markup. Stroll. Like a man in a park without a care or a worry in the world. I think it would be fair to say I liked Andy from the start. Something about him was different, eh? Ooh, well, that's something special about that one. How's the wife treat you? Well, I got him getting in good with the guards so he can smuggle things in. Okay, okay, they got a nice tight operation going on in here. Everything is with smokes. Cigarettes, man, they just, that's the currency in there, eh? Well, you just not take up smoking. Won't have nothing hanging over your head. It will take a man about 600 years to tunnel under the wall with one of these. <laughs> man, if I was in prison, I'd read every book I could. Wouldn't you? Delivery for Dufresne. Here you book. So he's got his rock hammer. What's he going to do with it? That's the question. Is he like a super genius or what, I wonder? I can't wait to see what he does with that hammer. I like how this movie's not rushing itself. It's taking the time to build character, build the environment, gets you involved in, like, in the prison life and see how everything operates. They're not trying to hit you with action right away. Or There's probably not even any action in this movie. Uh-oh. Oh my god. Eyes in the back of your head. Oh. Get this in your eyes, it blinds you. Honey. Oh! Fighting for your life now. I wish I could tell you that Andy fought the good fight, but prison is no fairy tale world. Ooh, yeah, no happy ending there. Oh my god. Prison life consists of routine, and then more routine. Every so often, Andy would show up with fresh bruises, and that's how it went for Andy. Wow, that's gonna break him on the inside. A dozen volunteers for a week's work. More than a hundred okay. men volunteered for the job. I'll do something different. Wouldn't you know it? Me and some fellows I know were among the names called. <laughs> well, wouldn't you know it? As if he had nothing to do with it, right? He runs the prison. It's like the kingpin. So anyway, this lawyer fellow says to me, Ooh, his brother died a rich man. 35000 That's what he left. That's a lot of money in 1949. Shit, what do you think the government's gonna do to me? Here, you figure the tax wrong? You gotta pay him out of your own pocket. Cool. Tit till it's purple. <laughs> Andy, what are you doing? He's a banker. So maybe, and he's talking about finances, right? Hey! Do you trust your wife? Oh, that's funny. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What I mean is, do you think she'd go behind your back, try to hamstring? Because if you do trust her, there's no reason you can't keep that 35000 Whoa, whoa, whoa. 35,000. All of it. All of it. If you want to keep all that money, give it to your wife. The IRS allows a one-time only gift to your spouse for up to $60,000. Oh, a smart banker would kill his wife, aren't you? Ooh. But you do need someone to set up the tax-free gift for you, and that'll cost you. A lawyer, for example. A bunch of ball-washing bastards. Ooh. I suppose I could set it up for you. That would save you some money. I'd only ask three beers apiece for each of my co-workers. <laughs> He's working his banker angle to get in good with the main captain of the guard at the same time will get three beers for each of the guys working on the roof so that this guy can keep his 35 grand. Ballsy move, Andy. Drinking icy cold, bohemia style beer. There you go. Great. Gotta love we it. sat and drank with the sun on our shoulders and felt like free men. There you go. Bring one over to him, because he's the one that's hooked y'all up with it. Want a cold one, Andy? No, thanks. Gave up drinking. <laughs> You could argue he'd done it to curry favor with the guards. Maybe make a few friends among us cons. Exactly. I think he did it just to feel normal again. No. If only for a short while. Which one do you think it is? Maybe a combination of all of them, right? Oh my God, I haven't played Chess. checkers in a lifetime. Losing game of kings. Well, maybe let me teach you someday. <laughs> I want to carve the pieces myself. Pickens are pretty slim in the yard. Pebbles, mostly. Why'd you do it? I'm innocent, Red. Just like everybody else here. <laughs> is he, though? The way they set it up made him seem awful guilty. Murder. Same as you. Innocent. Only guilty man in Shawshank. <laughs> well, he admits it. He wants to carve a chess set. And then teach Red how to play. What's his fascination with carving stones? It's cool, though. Cool quirk to have. Oh, okay. Carving in Andy. Oh, they got theater time. I like it. They do some things to keep their sanity, I guess, you know. Here she comes. Oh. Me? <laughs> oh, wow. 
Oh, a bunch of horny guys. Rita Hayworth. What? What? Can you get her? Really? Take a few weeks. What's he planning on now? Oh, not again. Come on. Oh my god, everywhere he goes. Take a walk. I gotta change the rear. I say. Oh, oh shit. No. Ain't you gonna scream? Let's get this over with. <laughs> He's fighting back every time. He's a fighter. Oh. Now, where do you get this shit? Oh. Read it. Not a read. You ignore it. <laughs> and to spend a month in the infirmary. A month? Well, he got out of doing the thing he didn't want to do, but he had to spend a month in the infirmary for it. Whoa. What? Oh, they're getting revenge for Andrew or what? Oh, shit. The sisters never laid a finger on Andy again. Oh, yeah. And Boggs never walked again. Never walked again. To my knowledge, he lived out the rest of his days drinking his food through a straw. Man likes to play chess. Okay. Let's get him some rocks. Oh, they're going to collect some rocks for him, are they? So when they had some kind of outdoor duty here, they're going to try to pick up the rocks so that he can make a chess set. And he's, he's bonding here pretty good with this crew. I like it. We had Ooh. enough rocks saved up to keep him busy till rapture. Oh, till rapture. Oh, Was it Rita a Hayworth herself. Oh, Rita Hayworth is a poster. I thought they were going to get the actual actress to come in. Hello. What are you going to do with that, though? The guards will know that you got it. Nice. I love the brotherly bond that is happening here with the whole crew. What if one of them are going to get caught at some point? They're tossing the cells. That's where they search it, right? And they try to look for things that are hidden away. Why do they ever destroy everything? They can't do it any better than that. Oh, he's got the poster on his wall, though. They're going to wonder how he got it, right? If they find that hammer, though, he's screwed. Pleased to see you reading this. Ah, he's trying to win him over. Any favorite passages? Watch ye therefore for... You know not when the master of the house cometh. Want to explain this? Sandpaper? For shaping and polishing rocks. A little hobby of mine. Oh, here we I'd go. I'd say approve of this. But I suppose exceptions can be made. Look at him. He's got the warden. He's winning over the warden. Do I have the religious angle? He got the captain of the guard one over. I hate to deprive you of this. I feel like that Bible verse that Andy quoted was more about him because he said, like, watch because you never know when the keeper of the house is going to show up. I almost feel like he thinks, like, he's the keeper of the house, so they should keep watch because he's going to get his way out of this prison or something. I don't know. Just a theory. You enjoy working in the laundry? No, sir, not especially. Well, perhaps we can find something more befitting a man of your education. He needs him for some kind of numbers game, don't he? That's why he's buddy buddying up with him here now. Hey, Jake, where's Brooks? It's Jake. Andy, Shawshank Prison Library. Oh. Well, he's got the sweet, cushy job now, being the librarian. Thinking about maybe setting up some kind of trust fund for my kids' educations. Financial advice now. They're all going to come to him for financial advice. Smart man on the inside. He's winning over the guards. I like it. A convicted murderer who provides sound financial planning. It's a wonderful <laughs> pet to have. Perhaps I could write the state senate and request funds directly from them. Sure. I'll write a letter a week. They can't ignore me forever. Sure can. Okay. But you write your letters if it makes you happy. So Andy started writing a letter a week. Really? Can't ignore me forever. Every week, getting the same letter over and over again. Persistence. Look at them. What do they got to do now? Crunching some numbers and everything. And he did tax returns for half the guards of Shawshank. Tax returns. He was allowed a staff. Ooh. Hey, Rick, can you hand me a stack of 1040s? Got me out of the wood shop a month out of the year. Yeah, anything. Anything to change it up and break the boredom and routine, right? It's Brooks. Oh. Just drop that oh. 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 Well, yes, Stay back, Chris. Stay back, God damn it. What's he done to you? That's what they done. You know why you're not going to hurt him? Ooh. Because he's a friend of yours and because Brooks Hadlin is a reasonable man. So put the knife down. Brooks has gone crazy. Why? What's causing Brooks to freak out? The only way they'd let me stay. What do you mean the only way they'd let me stay is if I killed him? Who? What? When? What? How'd you do to set him off anyway? I didn't do nothing. I come in here to say fairly well. He's due to leave. He doesn't want to leave. That's what it is. He doesn't want to go back to the real world. 
Just institutionalized. Yeah, he's afraid to go back to the real world, I bet. Yeah. Outside, he's nothing. Just a used up con with arthritis in both hands. I'm telling you, these walls are funny. Enough time passes, you get so you depend on them. That's institutionalized. Spent his whole life there. Send you here for life? That's exactly what they take. The part that counts, anyway. The part that counts, yep. All your youth. Look at him in his suit and everything. You're free. He's a broken man. How could he not? Our life is behind bars. Now what's he gonna do? He doesn't even know what to do with himself. Are any of his friends still alive? Any family members? Anything like that? Take care of him? He was really gonna murder that guy just because he didn't want to leave. The world must be so different for him. It's all strange and frightening to him now. Bagging groceries at the foodway. But my hands hurt most of the time. Work, I go to the park and feed the birds. Jake might just show up and mm -hmm. say hello. He misses Jake. But he never does. Maybe I should get me a gun and, and rob the food way. I could shoot the manager while I was at it. <laughs> sort of like a, a bonus. <laughs> just icing on the cake, right? No, what are you doing? Like he said, the prison becomes your life. When they give you a life sentence, they take away your life. He did hang himself. Brooks was here. Oh my god. What a way to do it. It's friggin' tragic. They tried to set him up with a job in a house, but that was it. He didn't want his freedom. He would have been better off in the in the walls. Oh, did they send the books? What's all this? You tell me stick their all addressed to you. Well, for his letters he's been sending off, they finally answered. In response to your repeated inquiries, the state has allocated the enclosed funds for your library project. Charitable donation of used books and sundries. Please stop sending us letters. <laughs> I want all this cleared out before the warden gets back. He did it? He got $200 to spend on it? I'm gonna go and pinch a loaf. When I come back, this is all gone, all right? Okay. Look at him. Such a joy on his face. He's so happy. A record. Jughead comics. Used to have those when I was a kid. Where'd you get the record player? They sent him one? He locked him in the bathroom. What's he doing? He put the music on. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. He's turning on the PA system. <laughs> he could get in huge trouble for this. Andy, what are you doing? You had that. Everything was going so well. Why is he throwing it all away? I'm so confused. Music. They haven't heard music in a long time. I tell you, those voices soared. Every last man at Shawshank felt free. Again, he's bringing that sense of freedom to him. He did it with the drinks. Open it up! You gonna turn it off or turn it up? Oh, he's defiant now. What is he doing? He doesn't care. He and just got two weeks moment. in the hole for that little stunt. Two weeks in the hole. I like the record skip. That was a great touch. Good play something good, huh? <laughs> Hank Williams or something? <laughs> That's the beauty of music. They can't get that from you. It's in his soul. The music is in his soul. Hope. Hope. Hope is a dangerous thing. Hope can drive a man insane. Ooh. Better get used to that idea. Like Brooks did. Ooh, that triggered him. That set him off. Made him walk away. Man, Andy's making a lot of enemies here now. Oh, he's back up again. What, every ten years is it? You feel you've been rehabilitated? Oh, yes. Sir. He says the same thing every time? I can honestly say I'm a changed man. Absolutely rehabilitated. He's not even trying anymore. He's broken. His hope is gone. Rejected again. Each year he gets more and more depressed and says the same thing, but he doesn't have the same spirit behind it. Rejection present. A harmonica. For the music. Music's important for the soul. You gonna play it? No. Not right now. When the moment's right, right? It's a good gift though. I like it. I'm still shocked that he I thought he was building up all that trust with the guard and everything just to I don't know, either plan his escape or just to make his life easier here. 
but he threw it all away for that music, but was it worth it? He boosted the spirits of a lot of inmates and gave them hope. So maybe a new girl for your 10 year anniversary. Red, ooh. Oh, Marilyn Monroe. Oh, if he starts playing that though, it's gonna make noise and get him in trouble, won't it? He's gonna play it, but then he's either gonna get a beat down or he's gonna have to spend time in the hole. But is it worth it for that bit of music? Appropriations Committee voted an annual payment of $500 Ooh. just to shut him up. And they had transformed the storage room smelling mm, of rat dirt. They named it after Brooks. I like it. For the fine selection of Hank Williams. We got Hank Williams in. Instituted his famous Inside Out program. Inside you may remember out. reading about it. There are a hundred different ways to skim off the top. Okay. Men, materials, you name it. How the money rolled in. Really? What's up? You're gonna put me out of business. Ned. I need this new highway contract. I don't get it, and I go under. That's it. Oh, big stack of cash in there. Ned, I wouldn't worry too much about this contract. Look at that. The dirty dealings. That was Andy. There was Andy crunching the, the numbers. Two oh, that's where he keeps the safe. He's gonna trust Andy to know that the safe is there. Is Andy looking over his shoulder? I get the combination. Who dress this? He's got his fingers in a lot of pies from what I hear. <laughs> yeah, so much for the nice religious moral man running the place, eh? Having all that money to sooner or later, you're gonna have to explain where it came from. Yeah, well, that's where I come in. Filter it, funnel it. Stock, securities, tax free municipals. It's gonna lead to somebody. Mm -hmm. Sure it is, but not to me. Really? Who's he got it set up to lead to? Randall Stevens. Who? Who? The silent, silent partner. They trace anything. It's just gonna lead to him. I conjured him. He made a thin air. Made a fake person. Ooh, smooth move. Mr. Stevens has a birth certificate. Okay. Driver's license, social security number. Did I say you were good? <laughs> See, I had to come to prison to be a crook. Oh, true. It's true. He still don't know if he did the murder or not. And maybe he was a good moral person on the outside, but prison's corrupting him. What else is he going to do? What's that? Another group of people coming in. Whoa, look at this guy. Sounds like you've done time all over New England. Yeah, I've been in and out since I was 13. You named the place, Tim. You don't seem to be a very good thief. Maybe <laughs> you should try something else. Exactly. Yeah, well, what are you in for? Lawyer. Me. <laughs> Everybody's innocent in here. Oh, now he sounds that? just like him. <laughs> I like it. I like what he did there. Trying for my high school equivalency here. You he helped a couple fellows with that. Noise time and losers time. Oh, no. Because if we do this, we do it all the way. 100%. Nothing half assed. Don't read so good. Oh, he can't read. So well. <laughs> I don't read so good. Started walking him through his ABCs. A man will do most anything to keep his mind occupied. He almost got the entire chess set done. Yeah. Wasted a little near my time with this bullshit. You can get a thing right, might as well have been in Chinese. Oh. Let's see how the score comes out. Now. Jeez. This place! Whoa. Yeah. Time you got issues. Holy crap, he was so on board, now he's just snapping now because he failed. He's given up. He might have even passed. You don't know, do we? What's he in here for, anyway? Murder. Never know. Bought his wife in bed with some golf pro. If they don't ever say it, I don't know whether I believe it or not. Oh, I was in Thomaston on a two to three stretch. Elmo Blatch. One night like a joke. I say to him, I say, yeah, Elmo, who'd you kill? So I could case all these big, rich pricks that come in. So I pick out this guy and do his place. So I killed him. Him and this tasty bitch he was with. <laughs> Ooh. Golf pro, but she married some other guy. Ooh. <laughs> some hotshot banker. He was innocent. He knows who it is that can get him his freedom. So he's telling the truth. You think he just fall to his knees and cry? Yes, I did it, I confess. You know, oh, it wouldn't matter. With Tommy's testimony, I can get a new trial. You're not even gonna give him a chance. How can you be so obtuse? What did you call me? Obtuse? Is it deliberate? They don't want him out. 
Does he not want him to go away because he's doing all their numbers for him? I'd be just as indictable as you for laundering that money. Oh, he's going to hold it over his head. Sir, I, I Solitary, a month. Yes, sir. A month? What's the matter with you? Get him out. Get him out. Look at him. He knows it. And it's going to keep him in the hole because he don't want the warden to get turned in for all the crimes he's doing with the shady deals. Oh, he's just going to keep locking him up. Son of a bitch mailed it. Like he did. Come on, will you throw that away, please? No, don't throw it away. Open it. You got to get your answers. Well, shit. Well, shit. Is it good or bad? Did he pass? Kid passed. C plus average. Ooh. Thought you'd like to know. Nice. At least that guard still has a little bit of empathy. He knows he's innocent. He knows he should be a free man. He can. He got. It. He can gather enough proof. If he was given a chance to earn his freedom. Oh, now the warden's gonna tell him to keep his mouth shut. You wait and see. The warden don't want Andy out of this prison. They're gonna off him. They're gonna kill him, aren't they? Yeah, that ain't right. Something going on here. If I'm gonna move on this, there can't be the least little shred of doubt. I have to know if what you told Dufresne was the truth. Oh. Yes, sir. Would you be willing to swear before a judge and jury? Just give me that chance. Hey, look, he's setting him up. Look at that, he's not gonna let him testify. He's looking to the guard. What? <laughs> Look at that jerk. His one chance out with the eyewitness. How can he call himself a religious man? Hiding behind the Bible and all this kind of stuff. I'm sure by now you've heard. Less than a year to go trying to escape. Don't get Madley's heart to shoot him. We just have to put it behind us. You know, put it behind us. It was his key to freedom. Everything stops. Get someone else to run your skills. There you go. He ain't doing it. Nothing stops. He's not going to keep working for you, man, after you took away his freedom. Cast you down with the sodomites. In the library. Gone. What? Sealed off brick by brick. What a psycho madman. What a power trip. Or am I being obtuse? Obtuse. Oh my god, what's Andy going to do? What's he gonna do? Either everything he's worked for is gone. He'll have a horrible existence for the rest of his another life. Another month to think about it. Another month in the hole. Nobody's ever even done a month, and now he's got to do two months. Sweet, merciful crap. Well, who's doing the books for these couple months while he's in there? He keeps getting screwed over more and more. He's broken now. His hope that he spoke of is gone. I killed her, Red. I didn't pull the trigger. I drove her away. Well, that's a stretch, man. That don't make you a murderer. He deserves his freedom. Feel bad about it if you want to, but you didn't pull the trigger. That warden's never gonna let him go either. Even when his time is up. I think you'll ever get out of here. One day, when I got a long white beard and two or three marbles rolling around upstairs. I'll tell you where I'd go. It's in Watanil. It's in Mexico. Oh. You know what the Mexicans say about the Pacific? That's where I want to live the rest of my life. Open up a little hotel. Buy some worthless old boat and fix it up new. He's got the dream all planned out for his freedom, if he ever gets it. It's like that, I could use a man that knows how to get things. Oh, he's saying you can come work for me. I don't think I could make it on the outside, Andy. Oh, no. I'm an institutional man now. Oh, no. It's like Brooks was. Just like Brooks, he's becoming Brooks. I mean, Mexico is way to hell down there, and you're in here, and that's the way it is. Look at him, quivering. It's down there, and I'm in here. He's gonna snap and lose it. Hope can drive somebody mad, they said. Get busy living, or get busy dying. I've heard that quote before. Get busy living or get busy dying. If you ever get out of here, do me a favor. There's a big hayfield up near Buxton. You know where Buxton is? Okay. The big oak tree at the north end. Find that spot. At the base of that wall, you'll find a rock that has no earthly business in a main hayfield. There's something buried under it, I'll let you down. Ooh, crap. He's talking like somebody who's ready to go do something drastic. What's he doing? He's going mad. Like he said, hope will drive you mad. Look at him, he's gone nuts. Oh, Lord. He asked me for a length of rope. No. Rope? Six feet long. Every man has his breaking point. Yep, and he went to his happy place in his head with the Mexico thing, and now that's it. He's continuing with the books. He's going to jump him. Or maybe he's going to use the rope to strangle him. Once the safe is open. Nope. Okay, I was wrong about that. And shine my shoes. I want them looking like mirrors. 
what's going on? I got a feeling he's going to do something here with the warden. He's going to take him out. Good having you back, Andy. No, don't even say the it. place wasn't the same without you. You already broke the guy's soul. Andy, 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 what are you going to do? Prison's turning him into a criminal, and now it's going to turn him into a murderer. You wait and see. He's doing it. Okay, I thought for sure he was going to ambush him there. What's he brewing here? Sleep time, and he's still in his suit, just sitting in the bed. Six feet of rope. I don't know. I don't get the impression that he's going to use it to kill himself. I got a feeling he's going to use it on something else. Someone else or something else. That was the longest night of my life. Because he's worried about Andy, thinking that he killed himself over in his cell. Andy didn't come out. Man missing on tier two, cell 245. Damn it, friend, you're putting me behind. No, no, I got a schedule no, to keep. No, no. He sent him back his dirty old shoes. Because he's missing. Start with that friend of his. Those nights count. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see Dufresne's name there? I sure do. See, right there. He was Dufresne. in the cell. Had to get out. I want him found. Now! Did he dig his yes, way sir. out? Make a tunnel and hide behind something? Using that little hammer? I see you two all the time. You're thick as thieves you are. He must have said something. Out of work. Maybe she knows. What oh. say there, fussy britches? He dug a Feel tunnel like behind it, you think? That's why he wanted the poster, because it's big. It's the size of a person. And he was able to pick his way out. Uh-oh. It ripped through the poster. I like it. Just click on me that second when I seen the poster. I'm like, how could he have escaped out of this room? <laughs> that would take years. Well, he's been digging for what, 20 years? I think he's been in there for 20. He escaped. He's a free man. When, what other choice do you have? When the warden is not going to let you ever go. Take a man 600 years to tunnel through the exactly, wall. Exactly, that's it. what he said. Old Andy did it in less than 20. That's it. That's where he carved his name. And he's seen how easy it was to fall out. He's like, wait, this this is prison is pretty uh, pretty brittle. Pressure and time. Pressure and time. Nice. What do you do? Smuggle the stone out each day. Wall out into the exercise yard, a handful at a time. Oh. And he decided he'd been here just about long enough. Yep. Once his freedom was killed, that's it. Home. He's switching it. He's keeping that for leverage and evidence for when he gets out. Oh, clever, Andy, clever. And he used the hand of them the letters to distract him so he didn't see what actual things he put in the safe because it's so routine. How often do you really look at a man's shoes? Oh, shined them up real nice and put them on himself. He wore his shoes out of the prison. He escaped in the warden's shoes. <laughs> That's a nice touch. Oh, he's wearing the warden's clothes so that when he gets out, he don't look like a prisoner. My God, he got it all planned out. And he kept the prison clothes on for now, so they'll be the ones to get all dirty. Oh, he had to attach the rope. That's why. So he could carry his stuff attached to his ankle. I love seeing a good prison escape. Look at this. Got the cave run. Oh, convenient thunder and lightning. So each boom, he can smash his way in through the pipe. What's he doing here? Yeah. And to crawl to freedom through 500 yards of shit-smelling foulness I can't even imagine. Oh my god. Oh, we had to go through the sewage. Oh, that water's gonna feel good. That water is gonna feel so good. And the fresh air. Look at him. The warden ain't gonna give him his justified freedom. He's gonna get it himself. Look at him, sweet freedom. He don't care, from this point on, this is it. Get busy living or get busy dying, he said, right? Until that moment, he didn't exist. He had all the proper ID. I hope you'll enjoy living abroad. All the money he Thank funneled you. through there, now he's gonna have it. Should you add this to your outgoing mail? What's in the package? He's setting up the warden for sure. Than three hundred and seventy thousand dollars of Warden Norton's money. That's a lot of money back in the four, well, sixties, I guess at this point. Oh, he sent it to the bugle. Look at this. They're coming for you. 
<laughs> the warden of the prison is getting his. Dear warden, you were right. Salvation lays within. Oh, <laughs> burn. Burn, warden, burn. And he used the Bible to keep his hammer hidden. I love it. The big brass is coming down on him now. You have the right to remain silent. If he ends up in that same prison with them, oh, he's dead. Same with the warden. After the abuse he put him through. Norton had no intention of going that quietly. That's it, warden. You're a religious man. You're not supposed to kill yourself. Come on now. Is he going to try to shoot the guards or is he going to shoot himself? He's going to kill when he comes to the door. You only got a six shooter, my god. Ooh. Ooh. He's a freaking coward and a bad guy. Okay. When I picture him heading south in his own car with the top down. <laughs> he's heading to Mexico, like he said. He told me exactly where he's going. Who crawled through a river of shit and came out clean on the other side. Oh, he did. Life goes on in the prison. Andy deserved his freedom, though. Oh, and they're still telling stories of Andy in the prison. Long after Sometimes he's gone. Sometimes it makes me sad. The place you live in is that much more drab and empty that they're gone. I guess I just miss my friend. Man, you gotta get out, man. Red. We got Red gotta get out, and then he's gotta go to that tree and look under that black stone near the wall. Oh, good. They might show it. You still have hope? You feel you've been rehabilitated? Well, now, let me see. Well, he's saying something different this time. You know, I don't have any idea what that means. Society's I know productive. what you think it means, Sonny. To me, it's just a made-up word. Young fellas like yourself can wear a suit and a tie. <laughs> he's giving it to him. What do you really want to know? There's not a day goes by I don't feel regret. Not because I'm in here, because you think I should. I look back on the way I was then. I want to try to talk some sense to him. That kid's long gone. And this old man is all that's left. I gotta live with that. So you go on and stamp your form, Sonny, and stop wasting my time. I don't give a shit. <laughs> 40 years of being rejected over and over again. He approved. They approved it. He had to change up the speech and he had to be totally broken. 40 years is a long time to serve. Ooh. You know, it depends on the crime. You know, some people deserve to be locked up forever, depending. Is he gonna get lost in this strange world? How much of the world has changed, especially in America, in 40 years? Tell me they didn't put him in the same one with the carving up in the rafters. They did too. Brooks was here. I only got him at the same job Brooks was doing. You don't need to ask me every time you need to go take a piss. Whew, well, he's used to it, but he just spent 40 years in prison having to ask to do every little thing that he had to do to move around. Having any sense of free will, we'll be able to use the washroom. No way I'm gonna make it on the outside. Boys, think of ways to break my parole. No. So maybe they'd send me back. No, Rick. Oh, there's a compass, though. Come on, go to the tree. He bought the compass. He's hitching a ride. What's it gonna be? Like a ton of money? Buxton. It's a lot of fields. Well, there you go. The one big tree. <laughs> Ooh, ton of cash. Dear Red, if you're reading this, you've gotten out. You remember the name of the town, don't you? Say what to nail. I'll keep an eye out for you. And the chessboard ready. Oh, he's going to teach him how to play chess. Hope is a good thing. And no good thing ever dies. Enough travel expenses to find his way down there. Nice, and he can join him into business. And running the hotel, like they said, right? And, uh, and a boat. And he can meet his old friend Andy, right? At the end of it. Get busy living. No. Or get busy dying. So was Red. So somebody would walk in and see that and not know the significance of it. You know what I mean? Like, how much history is behind that? The bus system heading down to Texas and then crossing over. I think it's the excitement only a free man can feel. I hope to see my friend and shake his hand. Mm. Oh, good. They're going to show it. Some movies fade away and they don't show it. I'm glad they're going to show it. Oh, you lost your hat. You don't even care. He's fixing up the old boat, like he said. They've been through so much together. Oh, <laughs> look at the hug. Right at the Pacific Ocean. 
All right, everybody, what a heartwarming story. And I like how they didn't rush it, like I said before. They take their time. They build up the characters, each individual character is in the bond between them all, and then shows the life of prison and how cold it is. And you had your main nemesis and the warden, right, and his main captain of the guard. And they set up poor Tommy there and shot him outside. All the plot twists and it. Loved everything about it. Either way, if you enjoyed this particular video, hit the like button, like I said. Peace and love, everybody. I'll see you later, all right? Take care, everybody.